When we think of cryonics, we may think of Matt Groening's animated series Futurama, or movies like Forever Young with Mel Gibson. Never imagined. But in Arizona, there is a place where that Hollywood future is being sold as a possible reality. Over 150 people are cryonically frozen at the Alcor Life Extension Foundation. The hope is that someday medical technology will allow them to live again. This is our youngest patient right now, a two-year-old Thai girl. She had a terminal illness and she was cryopreserved in 2015. Each patient is cooled to about minus 130 Celsius, a temperature where some experts say it's possible to preserve a human for centuries. The frozen bodies are stored in these cylindrical liquid nitrogen containers called Bigfoot. Our patients are declared legally dead, which is not the same as being biologically dead or dead in any fundamental sense. Alcor preaches the idea that technological advances will one day allow doctors to fix what killed these people and also fix any cells damaged by the freezing process. However, reversing that cell damage is something that scientists are even sure can be done on humans. The truth is there is very little science to support Alcor's idea that these frozen bodies might someday come back to life. The biggest problem is we have not demonstrated, except on extremely simple animals, reversibility for larger organisms, larger organs. Um, reversibility has been hard to get to. Despite the suspected signs, that's exactly what Alcor is selling. It is our intention to stop the dying process so that they have a chance of being returned to healthy, functioning life sometime in the future. It's not just about a way to die. It's just the opposite. It's a way to live. And the hope of coming back is expensive. The freezing process at Alcor costs between $80,000 to $250,000 plus annual fees. Jacopo Luzzi, BOA News, Scottsdale, Arizona.